Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 the jewel or the jewel okay cool so it's got that or the jewel test drive 2 on the sega mega drive uh it was released by ballistic but developed by those guys dsi uh distinctive software incorporated in 1992 so it's three years after test drive 2 the jewel was released uh on the amiga the atari st as spectrum Amstrad commodore i have gameplay of it on the spectrum i have gameplay of it on the amiga it's pants on both i went as far as to say that i preferred the original test drive on the amiga uh, to test drive too, but both of them are incredibly popular and very very famous games so obviously a couple of years later these guys uh, ported it to the Mega Drive and the SNES and uh, this is my first time playing it it's got a completely different front end a very ugly front end and also the music is it sounds like it's been done with gems you know, that thing that Sega wrote, it's a sound driver thing, so people, third party people who weren't like familiar with the Mega Drive and stuff like that would have a set of tools to make music and sound effects uh, easily for the Mega Drive. Most of the time it was absolutely pants, apart from Aladdin which actually used gems. Seriously, true story, because that game fucking sounds phenomenal. Anyway, so it's got a different front end. I don't know if any tweaks have been made. They've had a few years to do it and it's running on the Mega Drive, so it should look better we play td2 slight random tangent ballistics i remember you you released those shit cardboard box games didn't you who the fuck releases cardboard box games on the mega drive you know when you've got the one the best clamshell the one that was also on the master system game case ever designed oh, shame on you anyway game options <clears throat> excuse me uh game options bunk Right, so uh, we have the same sort of difficulty, although it's broken down into four and not a bar that goes from left to right. We have novice, auto shift, manual shift, expert. We're going to be going with uh, novice because, well, I don't know how this plays. Uh, obviously music, three three tunes, cruising, awful. Open road, pants, not, both of them not very car racy game thingying. That's a real phrase, feel free to use it. Dream drive. Listen to it. Right, control. Uh, up shift, down shift. That's irrelevant because we're going with novice, the brake, um, accelerator. To keep it in line with the um, Amiga, I guess we go with accelerator, brake. Yeah, we'll go with that. Right. Um, this is a very bland, a very vanilla, if you will, looking game. I don't know how well this was reviewed and I don't know how well it performed on the Mega Drive, but I haven't actually raced yet, so I'm being a bit critical right at the start. I'm just merely saying, from a production point of view, it's a bit vanilla. Fire. Right, high scores, play TD2. <laughs> See what you did there, TD2. Well, you couldn't put, well, you put it on a, a street sign or whatever, but you couldn't put a big fuck off one above that, so play Test Drive 2. Um, it looks like it's got Master System colours. Fire. Right, so this is the same. We select our car, um, Porsche 959. What's $230,000 uh, adjusted for inflation now? And so up. And um, that's right, we have an additional car. We have Lamborghini Diablo, which is the last Lamborghini that was actually made by Lamborghini. So it's the last proper Lamborghini, because after this, they're made by Audi, um, which is owned by Volkswagen, who own everyone probably you so yeah this is the last true lamborghini so this is truly batshit crazy what you expect from lamborghinis everything after this apart from the way they look are basically sensible audis <clears throat> so we're not going to go with that we're going to go with why does it do that with the screen ferrari f40 my favorite ferrari of all time the colors on this just do not pop they're bland as you like fire why didn't you do the little thing with the window you did it at the start with the bloke and the porsche you know to make make us of give us brand familiarity i guess uh we're gonna have to race the porsche 959 and obviously we're racing against the clock it says at the bottom is that because i'm on amateur <clears throat> right 
959. Uh, scenery select. Again, the blandest and boringest screen ever. you got to remember, in 1992, right, Outrun, 1991 Outrun was released on the Mega Drive. Anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> city, city limits, countryside, desert. We're going to go with the desert to keep it in line with what we saw from the Amiga and on the first game on the Amiga Fire. Right. Blue border, emulation. Anyway, top right hand corner of the screen is my rear view mirror, which is essentially useless in all these games. Top left hand corner, blinking red light is my police scanner to that. 2.7 miles will decrease the nearer I get to my target because we are trying to go from petrol station to petrol station if it's exactly the same as it previously was. Next to that is, I believe that's a clock. Underneath, the red dot on the steering wheel is to show you where you are pointing to help you centre. Obviously, the clocks or speedo work in real time. That is so bland, that music. Uh, and then bottom right-hand corner is my gear shift, which we don't have to worry about because we aren't shifting. Stationary looks like the Amiga. The colours look crap on this. Um, but I said I was going to play it. Accelerate. Right. The music's louder than the sound effects. Why is it you couldn't do anything? Is this just a lazy port? The cars are but ugly. Well, I say that. They're exactly the same as they were on the Amiga. Which, but ugly. Oh. I wonder how sensitive my hitbox is. Oh. See. We don't have lives left. This is one ugly poor, poor graphically looking game. I mean, it wasn't mind-blowing on the Amiga, but this is four, three years later. You got the same problem there, which is how on earth was I supposed to weave uh, in between those cars? Again, it's like South Park animation. Oh no, South Park animation's better than this, but the way the cars come towards you. Right, what's this bit here do? What's your bill? Smokey! Hey, there was, a, there, there was a copper outside his car telling me to pull over. Can't see him in the rearview mirror and apparently he's gone. Uh, to the right of Miles you can see my time. And obviously the Miles counting down as we near the petrol station, not saying gas station, sorry. It's, dare I say it's smoother on the Amiga? I mean it's undulate, well if there wasn't undulation then this would be fucking awful. Right. Yoink. Ooh. It's got the same steering problem, which is, it's not brake. Out of gas, oh yeah, you, you run out of petrol the minute you pass the petrol station. Absolutely, once past the petrol station, one, one second, one foot, whatever, you're, that's all versions. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to start braking before I hit the white line. To be fair, I didn't check what my speedo was doing, but I am a Ferrari F40 fire. But anyway, so it bumps us back to the, the petrol station. Davidson's uh, gas and juggling supplies, that's accurate. You run out of gas once. You have four lives left. Press a joypad key to continue. You crash one time. All right. Thank you. Right, congratulations on making the record books. You beat the fastest time for this road selection. I had the highest average speed. That gives you the highest score for this road section. Well, that's the first. Uh, but also, we are playing this on novice fire. <clears throat> the computer won. I know oh, we didn't then. The computer won this round. The computer is winning the game. So I don't care. Vanilla, vanilla. Maybe a try school would be more your speed. It thinks it's funny. Games should never attempt humour because it just doesn't work. And that goes for now as well. We're in the country. Love driving the country. Point to that quote. Can I? No, I can't turn the music off. That is awful. I'm already thinking, even though I thought the Amiga was pants, that it's better than this. I don't like the colours. It's like a child coloured it in. They're garish and shizen. Right, where's... where's... Ooh! It's still tit sensitive, as I see. Where's the old bill? Use it. Right. Fucking hell. I have no idea how I made it for That music is awful. I want to turn the music off. Apparently I can hit the roadside obstacles and they don't do anything to me. I can't see how fast I'm going. I don't want to look down because I don't want shit to find my face. But it really doesn't feel like I'm going very fast. 
Oh, skiddy skiddy. If I drop 30 quid on this, oh, no crack windscreen. And also, look at that. It's like the car's got a white stick and it's using that to work out, you know, when you crash. I would have been fucking royally pissed if I dropped 30 quid on this. So where's the old bill? So you got three red lights to the left of the main red light saying that Smokey's in town. Does that mean he's in front of us somewhere? Also, if you look in the middle of the top of my windscreen, not the information above it, what's that little thing that's jiggling around? Can you see it? Unless that's me. Unless that's one of my floaters. That was the old bill. I've got news for you, mate. That's not the best tactic to stop me. Herring towards me on the other side of the road. I was braking. Hey, my bonnet crumpled. Still but ugly. I was braking. Why didn't it break? I thought I was braking. Maybe that's why we need. We should have gears. So we can crunch through them. That's a lot of work and I can't be asked. The, the fucking collision detection is shite. And look. They take up so much of the road. This is rubbish. I know I said I'd play it. And I'm going to play the snares. Break. Right, because I'm all the side on the left, but I couldn't because there was a car on the right, wasn't there? Or did I imagine that? Look, totally South Park. This is fucking appalling. I always try and show them I could drive in the best of light, but... And it's usually pretty easy to do that. Who would have bought this? Who wanted this? Um, I mean... I in 1989, I can see, because we wouldn't have had a Mega Drive, so I can see why you'd be drooling over it if you came from 8-bit land and stuff like that. But, if you had a Mega Drive and it's 1992, look at the stuff you had played. Okay? Look at the stuff you had played. Congratulations on the record book. Oh, just tell me if I lost. You tied this round. The computer is winning the game. I tied around. Therefore, I feel that somehow I have achieved something today. Right. Penalties and stuff, don't care. Uh, what's the matter? Couldn't find the brakes. I found the brakes, smart ass, but apparently I'm too far away from the pump because I couldn't brake on the other side of the road because there was a fucking car there. Fine. Right, so, countryside. I'll give you another chance to get it. Point of the quote. Another drive in the country. I mean, the, the roadside obstacles are just as sparse and few. This is a very lazy port of the Amiga with, I want to say, brake, other side of the road, worse colours. Oh, undulation, I felt really, really spoiled. Just so you know, people, when I'm playing a shit game, I know I'm playing a shit game. Oh! <laughs> In case you haven't worked out for my commentary. Scanner's off. Here come the Rosers. Well, also, because there's so few frames of animation, I'm not asking for, like, arcade quality levels of sprites game, but when they immediately pop up in the distance, you don't always know what side of the road they're on. And I've obviously, I mean, I've got to drive on right, on the right side of the road, which is the incorrect. Look at them! They made it all the way to my car this time, and now they're ickle. That's life. Um, which is the incorrect side of the road. But I've also obviously got to make sure I'm there, because what do I do if there's a car in front of me and I'm coming towards the petrol station and my time's getting low? Just stay behind him. Nice of the road to warn us that it's going to go, you know, zigzag and shit. So was that the old Bill? Smoky old Bill Rosers. Call them what you will. The enemy. Right. I, I'm trying to look at the miles to give me some indication of when I need to... Oh, break for the... Fucking hell. This has a distinct master system feel to it. I know it could, that could never do this in a million years, but the colour... See? Couldn't tell what side of the road he was on. I'm just so mad. Right. There he is. Oh, no, that's because he's at the side of the road. Mate, you're better off in your car. Do you want to stop me? No! See, what am I supposed to do then? Slow down and carry on behind him? Very, very slowly. 
I don't know. Let's try a, another track. Right, you are dead and you lost the game. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Right, please enter your name. I'm fucked if I'm typing in Tits McGee. Like that. Right, oh, hello. Uh, Abba. Um, Scooter, Gordini, Joe, and Rusty. And exit. Right, so... Uh, our options are the same? Yeah. I just want to make it to a petrol station uh, without dying and break. Oh, fuck it, we're going with the uh, Diablo. Um, we're going to race. And uh, I guess we'll go with that. Oh, look at that! That is ugly. Right. 4.4 miles. I should have changed the music, but then I did change the music the first time around and it apparently made no difference. Lots more cars got... Yo, Bill, lots more cars, but obviously I guess we're downtown, aren't we? So... Hang on, but the speed was 65. Surely it would be 55 if we're actually in a town. Oop. Right. I got that music. Oh. The loop as well. This is awful. I'm not sure anyone wanted this game, as I said at this point, but this is awful. At least if you're going to make this game at this point, go above and beyond. Oh, we all remember that, don't we? I had to break that. Has that? What side of the road are you on? Has that actually affected the frame rate? Look at it. Wow, this is one I... Oh, that's making me want to be sick. Look at it. It's actually a f that, that big chunk of fucking turd on the left... It's not just affecting the frame rate, it's made the visuals even uglier. This is this is awful. Right, 2.4 miles. Whose side are you on? This is fucking awful. The Amiga version's better and that was rubbish. Scanner. And I can't take this in in my brain because break. Oh there's my Oh look at you, you cheeky fucker. It's good, at least you get to see your opponent. <clears throat> but yeah, the freight. Oh, yeah. What was this car? Not a sixty in like fucking three and a half, four seconds or something. You'd never have guessed it, would you? Plus, the old Bill and BMW. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Trust me, that's as bad for me as it is for you. Fuck. Hey, it's Chef. Right, 0.17 miles. So, what's the petrol station? On a cliff. This is... Remember, kids, I've played this. You don't have to now. You're welcome. Oh, my eyes and brain. Ah. Right. The graphics are awful. The music is awful. The controls are shit. You can't tell what side of the... Oh, the road, the car is on the hit detection it is rubbish this is an incredibly poor looking game for 1992 this is purely cashing in on its name even though i'm pretty sure its name didn't count for shit then uh right petrol station where where's the pe where's my opponent fill her up this is awkward, isn't it? At the same time. Fire. I think it's safe to say you don't need to tell us shit now. Look how poor it looks. Congratulations on making the... Fuck off. Uh, the computer won this round. The computer's winning the game. Well, there you go. Test Drive 2. Basically, it's fucking awful. Uh, there was no need or reason for it to simply be on this machine. If someone knows whether or not this was successful, please let me know. But it looks fucking awful. Sounds awful. Plays awful. Frame rate is shite. It hurts your eyes when you get to a cliff. I don't know if I can face doing this on the snares. Anyway, it's always a love to know what you think, especially if you played this fucking train wreck back in the day. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.